Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. I don't know what today's video is about. I'm on a social media hiatus right now. It turns out it's very difficult for me to hide from social media, but I'm on the hiatus to write a book. Like, I've been working on a novel for the last four years, but I'm trying to, like, take the quotation marks out of that working. But, like, when I'm really into a story, it's hard to think about anything else, so I'm just, like, sitting here thinking about things that I can't tell you about. Anyway, I think it's going well, but who knows? I've been wrong before. I know there are things I'm supposed to talk about. Oh, right! NerdCon! Hank, NerdCon Stories is just, like, a week and a half away in the beautiful city of Minneapolis. There's a great bunch of storytellers coming, but the relevant thing here, Hank, is that somehow or another I agreed to a race car race with my friend Maggie. You know, Maggie Steveter. Steveter? Streamwater? You know, Maggie, who wrote all of those great books. Apparently it's Steve Otter. Steve like the name, Otter like the mammal. So separate from NerdCon, she and I are going to be racing in actual race cars on an actual race car track on October 9th at 7.30 at Princeton Speedway outside of Minneapolis. It's five bucks at the door. All the proceeds go to this charity, Driver's Edge. And I have to wear, like, a helmet and a fire suit in case my car catches on fire and I'm going to lose. Oh, also there's flowing water on Mars occasionally, apparently, and this very exciting, and the size show people got so excited they made like shirts and posters. Hank, I feel vicariously very happy for you whenever there's big Mars news like this, but you know what's so exciting that we haven't taken a second to just be psyched about lately? Flowing water on Earth. Earth, man, what a planet! Sarah says I should show you how my tattoo is doing, so I'm gonna do that now. Don't get alarmed, Hank, I'm just, you know, taking off my shirt. Still there a little bit. What else? Oh, the wall! Hank, so many people were complaining about the blank blue wall that I finally put up my wall stuff. We got Woody Guthrie and his guitar, a big willy and a medium-sized me and a puppy-sized elephant. This weird card someone sent me of Hank humping peeps. These Yoshito Minara figures were edited by Sarah for my birthday back in 2007. And speaking of the Yeti, there's one as well as a misprinted business card and Brotherhood 2.0 resident mathematician Daniel Biss's original paper about how circles are really just bloated triangles. I was just thinking that a lot of this seems weird if you haven't watched every Vlogbrothers video, but then it occurred to me that it also seems weird if you have. I hurt my nerd fighting peeps, and then of course we've got the Swindon Town FA Cup Championship from 2011, Abraham Lincoln, a black Santa, a road map with Agua New York on it, the beer sword, beautiful drawing of Willie, nerd fightastic shoes, Chewbacca, a DFTBA, Ducky, and an Imperial Affliction, which I stole from the movie set. Then we got some willies and puppy-sized elephants and French llamas and St. Francis of Assisi. I'm not really sure what he's doing there. It's just a start, Hank, but I think it looks pretty good. Nerdfighters, let me know what I'm missing in comments. So, Hank, I was just violating my social media hiatus by looking at Twitter to see if there's anything else I should talk about, and it turns out that in the last hour, you've launched a new company. Hank, you amaze me. That's not a compliment, exactly. It's just an observation. So, Hank, DFTBA Games, which you co-founded, has just launched a Kickstarter for its first game, Wizard School. It's a card game that hones one's wizard education skills while one waits for one's letter from Hogwarts, which one hasn't totally given up on, even though one is technically 38 years old. I, for one, am excited. In fact, I was one of your first ten backers. The Yeti and I are huge nerds for tabletop card games, Hank, so this is very exciting for us. Okay, Hank, I'm gonna go back to working on the story now. Hopefully I'll be able to report real progress on a real book soon. Hank, I will see you on Friday.